Hello and welcome to your daily reading for the 1st of February 2019. My name is Alexandra. I hope you are well. Uh, if you are new to this channel, I welcome you. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, also, great hello to all um, my subscribers that are coming back. Okay, let's look. What are the messages for us for this day? By the way, the sun is in Aquarius and the moon moves from uh, Sagittarius to Capricorn. So let's tune in to the Earth energy of Capricorn. Today I'm using Ukonpaka Taro, also called uh, Taro Mythologia Fenica. I think I'm going to make fl flip through today too. Let's see what are the messages and energies for all of us watching this. No matter the no matter your zodiac sign, it's just general energy of the day what the universe wants us to know, what the universe wants to tell us. Okay. I always ask for guidance for our greatest good. Okay. We have sauna. We have the shaman again, and we have fork of the graveyard, which I think is five of swords. And sauna is number eight of major arcanas, and I need to check in the book whether it's justice or strength. I think it's going to be strength, but I want to check it. I was wrong. It's not major arcana card. I was uh, deceived by by the Roman uh, numbers, but they are both in major and, and minor arcanas. This is eight of wands. So we have eight of wands, the shaman, which is the hierophant, and five of swords, which is called folk of the graveyard. Okay, so we have one major arcana, the shaman, one fire card, and one air card. And let's begin from the fire card, Sauna. Here in this deck, Eight of Wands <clears throat> is connected with a very special place in Finnish culture, which is Sauna. Um, all kinds of healing take take the place there, so um, it may indicate that you need to bask yourself in warmth and safety to let yourself be healed from something, to let something mm, new begin also, or prepared to something new, because this card sometimes indicates the appearance of something new in your life. Um, perhaps a new chapter mm, connected with forgiveness. Why do I say about forgiveness? Because in this deck, uh, unlike uh, in um, Rider Waite Smith decks, the card Five of Swords, Folk of the Graveyard, is very much connected with forgiveness and letting go of the past. Because if you cling to the past, the past will cling uh, to you. And, and these, uh, all these things that are long dead may be still with you, causing all kinds of troubles. So this card indicates, this card advises you to really let go of all things and t by forgiveness to let uh, the broken heart be healed, perhaps in sauna. And uh, in all this we have the shaman card. I was talking about uh, the meaning of this card in this deck uh, a few days ago uh, in a reading. Uh, this is everything you believe in. This is your faith. And especially this card tells about your inner connection with um, what is divine. 
And the understanding that uh, divinity um, mm, blissfulness greatness and light they all reside within you and you are or you should be your last instance that you follow the last word should always be on your side mm, if there is a faith or some kind of the pattern of thinking that is not yours it's always a good time to take a closer look at this and really see whether it's mine or not mine and does it serve me or not does it make me a servant perhaps so if you hold any kind of grudges um, if you feel that you cannot forget something uh, because uh, it would be against your pride ask yourself whether this is your conviction or is it just something that was imposed on you perhaps even when you were a little baby and you couldn't really choose for yourself it's always good time to check this to see what are my values what do I really believe in what is mine and what is not mine and I have the feeling that if you do this you'll be able to uh, to let yourself be in this warm healing place and really let go of the past that may be uh, clinging to you and not letting you mm, into into a new chapter of your life because if you don't make space for new things to arrive in your life then uh, they, they really cannot enter if you don't prepare a place for them so I think it's a great day to reflect upon this and to dissolve old things old wounds in the warmth of, of sauna whoever if you ever tried sauna you know what I mean there's this great relaxation going on there and being really really giving giving up to heat I don't know how to express it uh, but the spirit of sauna is greater than our inner obstacles and fears it just dissolves something in you and then you go out full of inner warmth and ready to warm the world around you the sauna experience in Finland is one of my best experiences in life it's my anchor it's when I feel fear when I oh, when I'm anxious I go back to this place in my mind and I remember walking out it was by the lake near near the Finnish mountains which are not very tall but they're picturesque and beautiful and the mountains were, were reflecting in the water and I entered uh, the lake it was during the polar day so it wasn't completely dark this was this twilight and and uh, the lake was completely still and I saw those mountains reflecting in the water and the water around me it was quite cold you know but my body was so warm that it made this tiny film of warm water around me and I felt absolutely safe and peaceful and grateful for for the moment I think I will never forget this so I wish you all this kind of experience of melting old things that keep you down and drag you away from new things. I hope it's going to be a beautiful day and I wish you this. Thank you for your time and attention and I hope I see you in next readings. Until then.